Good morning. Hello and welcome back. We're going to have some really fun. Okay, we're gonna have some fun this morning. So finally, I got my flare figured out, okay, recently. So we are going to compare. Uh, so I did a flare <coughs> and Brista Express comparison a couple of months, wait, sometime last year. But I was comparing with the pressurized baskets, which means uh, flare has a flow control, which means uh, very similar to pressurized basket uh, from Bravo Brista Express. But today, pretty much I upgrade everything on flare. So we are using the non-pressurized basket with pressure gauge. And also we are going to, I'm going to using even uh, the Crema coffee product mix 21 distribution tool and temper as well. We are going all out this morning. And then, and more so, I'm heating up my, let's see, water chamber as well as my uh, pore filter they're hot okay and then not only that i got my kettle going here it's gonna be boiling hot so it's gonna be really really good comparison and they're compared to uh, brista express so and they're also we are using a uh, 16 gram each as well so it's gonna be identical okay so you know what uh, let's get going uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna heat up my uh, cup first okay and also we are using the crook glass as well. So I spare no expense this time, okay? So let's heat up my shot, uh, shot glass. Okay. You know what, let's start, you know, let's start with, let's start with the flare. Okay, let's start with the flare first. I got my, and also we are going to use the built-in grinder as well. So everything is pretty much the same, pretty much identical. It comes to uh, coffee, a uh, grind size. So grind size, hopefully it's gonna be okay. Uh, and then obviously we got the 16 gram. So this is a fresh roasted about two weeks ago. All right. So we're gonna start with the flare. So let's make some space up here. By the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, uh, I'm glad you guys are here this morning. And I mean, actually I'm really looking forward to this comparison. Okay, just smells really great. Smells fantastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna shut it up now. So we are doing the flare. Man, you have to say this, how hot this is. This thing's like boiling hot, okay. So I think we are good with, okay, I know some of you out there, this is too much work. Actually, you know, it's not too bad, okay. It's not too bad. Uh, once you get your workflow down, I mean, you can make your coffee within uh, less than 10 minutes. Okay, less than 10 minutes. So it's not too bad of a process. And personally, okay, if you don't have espresso motion at home, you know, let's talk about that after we finish making coffee. I got a lot to say about this. Okay. So I got here. So this is a non-pressurized basket from a flare. Uh, dosing funnel like this. I got my 16 gram of coffee. I'm just gonna flip it over like so. It's, you know, very, very convenient. Okay. Hold on a second, I got some little bit of coffee left. Okay. And then let me show you the workflow I do. I'm just gonna tap it. Hold on, maybe I, I'm gonna have my, my wife to hold the camera for us. So, so you guys can see better. Hold on a second here. Here we go. So my wife is assisting me this morning. Can you get, come close right there? Good. So since we have the 16 gram, I'm just gonna top it first like so. Okay. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to distribute using the tool here. So you, you, you might want, so you, what, you, what you want to do, you just want to distribute, not temp, okay? Like so. 
And then with the back side, I'm just going to temp it and twist. So now you have perfectly level uh, puck to work with. Okay. And then, oh, not, not yet, not yet. Okay, so, and then after that, go back a little bit, good. So now I didn't, let's not forget the shower screen. I already put the uh, seal right there, so I'm just gonna pop it in here, like so. So everything is uh, nice and hot. Okay, like so, good, perfect. And then hot water. So we are going to use the, you know what, let's measure. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to time my shot too, okay? I like to do the one to two ratio. And then I like to do, I like to start time my shot after we saw the first drop. Okay, here we go. Okay. And then water. Get your slip. So you just gonna put the nice hot water on the top. So right now we are already happening, the pre-infusion happening right now. Just gonna lock it in. Okay. And then we're just gonna pull the shot there. I'm gonna have her watch the gauge there. I'm just gonna use a couple bars to pre-infuse. And then you are going to see some copper drops there. And then now I'm gonna give it a nine bar pressure. Let's get the pressure going, pressure gauge. Can you get the pressure gauge? Good, thank you. We're gonna do the nine bar pressure there. There we go. I'm shooting for around 32 gram. Good. Perfect. I got 26 seconds and 32 gram. Look at the crema. Look at the crema there. Hold on a second here. I'm just gonna... Thank you. That's my wife. Helping me with, man, look at this shot. This is fantastic. Okay, let's give it a try. I think that's the, the one of a better shot so far we pulled in this channel. Okay. I know, hey, Justin, what do you think about this cop, uh, this shot here? I know Justin is our resident, the player expert there. Smells really great. So I got, this is one to two ratio. I got 16 gram in and 32 gram out, so. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Okay. Uh, if you guys are thinking about buying Flare, those matter, Neo or Classic, Signature, even Pro, just make sure if you can, uh, heat up your uh, water chamber and pour a filter. Make a huge difference. Okay, make a big difference there. So, so this is the copy from uh, Actually, this is an Ethiopia copy from uh, Good Brothers. Again, it's good. Okay. Copy this is an Ethiopia copy from Good Brothers copy. So I'm gonna put the link down below. Okay. So now you guys saw the flare in action, and let's pull the shot with uh, Brista Express. Okay. I'm just gonna set to the side for now. Again. Oh, Mike's doing the mocha? Oh, good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side here. So we're gonna do the Bravo Brista Express. Again, 16 grams. So I switch out the filter basket to 16 and 18 gram basket. So whenever you get uh, Bravo the, from the outer box, their filter basket is a 16 to 18 gram. So that's what we're gonna use. And also you can actually upgrade to 18 to 20 gram if you guys want to uh, from Amazon. But uh, if you can get the uh, IMS one, 
You can fit about 22 gram baskets very comfortably. Okay. So let's give it a try with Bravo Barista Express. Hopefully we have the right grinder size, okay? But with flare, it was, it was right on it. Very okay, here we go. Comes to workflow. Obviously, Barista Express is a lot easier for sure, okay? You don't have to worry about heating up your uh, water chamber or your pour filter. It already does for you. But that costs you. You know, let's talk about the price as well. Okay. Again, uh, workflow is, as you can see, extremely simple. I'm just going to distribute. We're gonna give it a good temp here. Just the temping pressure, just be consistent. All right, so this one. Well, I'm gonna lock it in. Uh, 16 in, we go, again, we're going to try around 32 gram out. Okay, again, we got lucky as well. Shot looks really good. 32, 22, 23 seconds. Okay, I take that. I like I'm a tiny bit slow, but overall, shot looks great. Beautiful crema. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's give it a try. The thing about the comparison, I know if you guys watch a lot of YouTube channels, they do a lot of comparison, which machine is better, but it all comes to your taste, but okay. It's all about taste, but you know, I can show you the different workflow between Flare and uh, Bravo Breeze Express. Maybe you guys kind of like see for yourself in a live session because sometimes, you know what, flare work, too much work, okay? Or breast express is too much work. So you guys can actually see in, you know, see in person, but comes to taste of coffee, man, I wish someone, some of you are here so you can actually taste what I'm tasting. Okay, cheers everybody. By the way, this glass, the croup, great thing about this glass, you don't have to stir it. So, I mean, you just swerve it. It's a lot easier. Give you a big uh, head space to smell first and taste. You know what, guys? I cannot tell. Okay, I have to say. I mean, it's both great. Because one thing about the flare, I always worry about that it's not hot enough. But this method, so I got this little strainer with my old. Uh, uh, what teapot kettle there bring out the temperature again it takes about five minutes so like five minutes extra of work you can get this wonderful wonderful shots so again I mean I cannot tell the difference which means comes to shot quality is about the same okay once you uh, do the proper uh, prepare uh, you can as long as you uh, prepare properly goodness I mean this machine cost me 99 bucks okay so 100 bucks for the machine but I mean, so that's how I start with. So that's the one last year you guys saw me with uh, two comparison. But this time, I'm gonna shout out to Andrew at Flare. I mean, he saw my videos for a while, and you know, and then he realized I, I can use this pressure gauge. So he sent me one. So pressure gauge is about 50 bucks. So now you are into 150 bucks, and then you need to add uh, a non-pressure as a uh, back filter basket is about 20 bucks or so, 15 or 20. So now you're around 170 bucks. So under 200 bucks, uh, you can get everything going. So you got pressure gauge, non pressure baskets. Uh, comes to uh, this temping tool is optional, okay? 
But this is a lot better than, I've been using this plastic temper. Works, but this is better, okay? So I'm gonna put the link down below as well. So this one is, actually works really good. I know some, some of you out there are complaining about this tool, but just make sure you use the, they give you this uh, ring, the silicone ring outside. Uh, he give you, they give you three rings. Uh, make sure you use that as well. So I put two on the distribution side, one on the temper side. So, I mean, again, works really good. So that's all you need. So under $200 for the flare setup here, Obviously, you know, Bravo Barista Express, you are looking at what, 700 bucks right now. You know, depend on your tools, so let's say 800 bucks. So big price difference, but flare, you can only do one thing, okay, espresso, which means you can make long black or Americano with that. And then unless you go with like Bellman, uh, one of those, or milk steamer, or you can get some really good latte out of it. but. It's kind of like depend on what you guys like. Come sell to two different machines. One is a 100% manual, semi-automatic. I mean, if you have time in the morning, I mean, if you guys really enjoy the good espresso, I think a flare, I think a flare, I mean, that's one of my top, okay? I, I have a lot of manual espresso machine here at, the, at my house. I play with all of them, most, most of them out there, but I have not tried. Okay, so far I have not tried Rock or what, what else? I got the Robot. I have not tried that yet. You got Robot, uh, Rock, and then also we got the Nine Bar uh, Express Motion as well. Nine Bar looks really nice though, okay? But comes to like manual motion, like Nano Press, uh, Star Press, uh, what else is out there? We have a few other things, but comes to those price range, <clears throat> The flare is not bad, okay? That's pretty good. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know right now. And then, uh, is Dane on this morning? He was, I don't know if he's here. Okay, I mean, hopefully, uh, we're gonna, <clears throat> we are going to jump. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to do so, because I do, a lot of, I do a lot of fun stuff on Instagram. Instagram is a lot more laid back, and uh, I, ha I usually have you know, my viewers on, we talk about it, we we'll talk about their uh, copy bar setup. We just hang out, okay? So that's really laid back and pretty nice. And hopefully I can grab Dane on my Instagram right after this. Uh, he just got some cool toys. So I'd love to see it. Uh, by the way, we have a super chat this morning. Yeah, from um... Florian. Is a, is a Florian. I'm going to shout out to Florian. Uh, so we are having a super chat and super sticker and also PayPal as well. If you, if you want to just uh, support my channel directly through PayPal. Uh, all, so those money, okay, we are going to buy dual boiler, hopefully end of this year. Okay, so that is my goal. And the, the reason why I don't need another machine, but, but my goal for China is, is there any difference between $600 machine versus let's say $3,000 machine, okay? And the, if there's difference, what is the difference? Okay, is that this much or this much? So that case, hopefully we can find out is that, is that even worth upgrading from Bravo to whatever we are going to decide to purchase? I mean, that's the bigger question because I know a lot of you, are, a lot of you out there wants to upgrade your machine, okay? Not because the quality of the espresso or just because. I know some of you out there, if you have unlimited uh, you know, amount of funds out there, I mean, you can get whatever you want, okay? But if, you're, if you really love, if you're chasing that incremental improvement on, on your espresso, which means we have to save money for that, and I mean, I want you to get the best value for the buck, okay? So that's the, I'm trying to figure out, hopefully we can figure out together this year. So, yeah, so let's find out, okay? Let's find out what's the, the best cup machine for the money. Uh, any okay, we got some questions. Yeah. James there. And somebody said, but you need a grinder so it isn't really under 200. 200. Okay, so again, if if you have a Bravo Barista Express, someone asked me a fantastic question because you need a grinder, okay, for sure. 
So if you have Rob Bridge Express and if you like to you know, play with the other gadgets, built-in grinder is fine. Okay, they're good enough. But if you're planning on just buying the flare only, so if that is your first machine, and you're a first uh, espresso maker, yes, you, you do need to get good grinder, okay? That grinder cost, goodness, I mean, that, that's why I'm going to have a Dane on right after this. So Dane just got the, I'm going to tell you what that, kind of what that is. He, he bought a nice grinder. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what that is, but yeah, he got a nice grinder. So again, you need to get a nice, uh, you can get a hand grinder, okay? So hand grinder, it may cost you 150 bucks to 250, or you can go with what 75 to 150 range. So their price range is huge, and uh, some grinder costs you up to like 500 dollars. So it all depends on what you guys want. But again, don't skimp on grinder. If you wanna get a grinder, just get a you know good one. Okay, you don't have to get a great one. Just get a good one to make good espresso. And then, um, okay, so we have uh, also my wife's going through the question to brew espresso on flare from beginning to end. Someone asked me how long, I mean, you guys just saw you know what I did, so it usually takes about less than what 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. if, if you don't want to warm up your uh brew chamber, you can make it you know, like five minutes, okay, it's not a big deal. Uh, comes to cleaning, okay, so we. <laughs> We talk about cleaning process a lot, okay? Because making coffee is easy. And then now we have the time to clean. Obviously, Brewster Express, just take the puck out, the porter filter out, you are done, okay? I'm just gonna flush, like so. I'm, I'm just gonna wipe it clean. You are done, okay, for a Brista Express. With the flare, is different story. With the flare, make sure you gotta take it out. Is everything is hot right now, so you gotta be careful, okay? So you're gonna be extremely careful. And I like to just squeeze it in, okay, like first. You're gonna have, so you, you can just wash this on sink there. Rest of them, just tap it, come right up. So it's not that bad either. Just, you know, rinse through water one more time. You should be good to go. So it comes to it's not bad, it's all easy, okay? And also with the flare, you can take anywhere. Uh, if you're planning on going on a little camping trip, just take it, okay? Only thing you need is some water kettle on some, what, just a little my, uh, tiny stove, like butane stove. I think I have the video on, the, on my channel too, so yeah, you can take anywhere. By the way, Brista Express, as long as you're driving somewhere, stay at the hotel, take this machine, okay? I, I take this one, you know, you know, whenever I go on, like even like one night vacation, two nights, I take this, so yeah. Everything's still portable. How do you, any tips on getting the puck and the plunger out of the flare? Uh, get the puck. Okay, so you guys saw the my puck out. It's pretty easy as well. The plunger, you guys have this, okay? Stick it in like so. Push back. Done. Okay. So this is really easy as well. Okay, anything else? I think we have this one. Okay, make sure following me on Instagram right now. Uh, we have uh, Ernie Ermit. Is that super chat there? No, I didn't see it. Yeah. What's the question on Ermit? Oh, yeah. WDT tools make a huge difference in my Barista Pro Shop. Okay, WDT tool, yes. You know what? It's, whenever you are using bottomless pore filter, use it, okay? Because with the spouted, I, d I really don't care about it. You know, yes, it makes a little difference, but it comes to bottomless. So this one is I got from uh, John Kim from Espresso aficionado the discord uh, chat okay the discord has huge community of you know passionate coffee people on uh he's uh he's not I don't, I don't think it's john's running it but some other person doing it but john is one of their member they designed it uh, john made this one you can actually buy if you have if you are the member but this is my homemade 
okay? Uh, wine cork with uh, four acupuncture needle. So, I mean, I've been using both. They both works great. So yeah, it'll make a huge difference if you are using the bottomless. Uh, anything else? Um, and Michael says, can you tell whom to try Yellow Brick Coffee Roaster here in Tucson? It's a great roaster. I'd like to buy him a coffee. Okay, Michael, Michael mentioned Yellow Brick. Actually, I stopped by their uh, roaster a couple of years ago. Uh, they are a small coffee roaster uh, west side, and they have more, more like southwest side of the town. Very small, okay, kind of like, kind of like, yeah, it's really, they have one uh, coffee roaster there, yes. You know, maybe I should go visit them, Michael. Yeah, I definitely go visit them and uh, yeah, yeah, it'd be fun. Okay, let's do that. Okay, maybe sometime next couple weeks. So i like to visit a couple uh, different coffee roaster for you guys. i definitely take you out to the Adventure Coffee. That's the, uh, where I buy the whole beans from. And the Red Bricks, they're really small, micro roaster, fantastic. I know you guys saw my Instagram talking to Batterbone Coffee as well. I mean, he walked out from his garage, so yeah, he's really, really small. But yeah, definitely, we should do that. Uh, anything else? Are we good? Mm -hmm. I think we are good. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, uh, do it right now. And hopefully I can have Dane on, okay? All right, see you guys. Make sure if you haven't liked this video, make sure press like, okay? That, that actually helps, okay? Helps for the search engine and stuff like that, so. And uh, if you haven't followed my channel, make sure to do it. Okay, see you guys next time.